Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about the designing steps for our combination circuits. What are, what are the steps we are going to use to design a combination circuit? Uh, so the very step, very first step is to observe our problem statement. What is the problem statement we are going to design uh, a combination circuit for? Uh, in the next step, we will determine the number of inputs and outputs used uh, for that uh, circuit. And we will define uh, the the, uh, the number of inputs and outputs uh, for the circuit. And in the next step, we will assign symbols to the input and the output variables. And the number of inputs will be assigned with uh, each uh, with some uh, letters and output will be defined with some letters. In the next step, uh, we will uh, make a truth table that defines the required relationship uh, for the given problem statement. After making the truth table, uh, we will simplify uh, this truth table by using KMAP. Uh, after simplifying uh, the truth table, we will have a simplified uh, Boolean expression. And now we are going to implement it uh, by simple uh, logic uh, gates and the next step the last step is uh, draw the logic uh, diagram for uh, the problem the statement uh, these are the steps by which we can uh, design a combination and circuit uh, let's made uh, let's repeat it and the problem uh, the step number one is the problem definition in the next step we will determine the number of inputs and outputs in the in the next step which is step number three we will assign uh, letters to the input and the output variables. In the next step, we'll make a truth table uh, for these uh, given uh, inputs and outputs. And in the next step, we will simplify it by using KMAP, uh, which we have studied previously. And the last step is uh, implementation of uh, the uh, expression by uh, logic gates. So moving on uh, to implement it by an example, I am going to use a simple uh, example here. Uh, first of all, what is the first step is to determine uh, here or what is the, or we can observe the problem statement. Uh, here we are having a, a problem statement is design a combination circuit having three inputs. Uh, the combination circuit generate a high output when all the inputs are low. It means that we are having, uh, we are observing uh, the problem statement. The problem is saying we are having three uh, inputs and and a single output, one output. Now, uh, when the output is high, uh, it is uh, as you can see here. Uh, generates a high output when all the inputs are low. Uh, for three inputs, we will have uh, how many combination? Two raised to power three, we will have eight different combinations. Uh, from these eight different combinations, we will generate a high output only for when all the inputs are low. So first of all, we will, uh, in the first step, uh, we have determined the uh, number of inputs and the outputs. Now we will assign uh, letters or symbols to each input and output. For example, we are having A, B, and C input, and uh, I am saying Z as output. This is the step number three. Now we are, uh, in the next step, uh, we are going to make the two table uh, for this input and output. Here, A, B, and C are input and output is uh, Z. Now uh, we will write the combination for these three inputs 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. And uh, last is, uh, sorry, the second last is. One one zero and last one one one. So the output uh, for this, uh, as we have observed, uh, as we have observed the uh, giving case scenario, is that whenever the inputs are low, the three inputs are low, the output is high. 
so we will have a high signal when all the inputs are low here c is high here b is high here b and c are high in the next uh, uh, step we are having a as high and you can see we are having a high signal a high input to uh, different variables uh, so uh, the output resultant for each and every entry will be zero we have now uh, defined uh, our, our truth table here now the next step is we are going to uh, make a truth table for this for uh, this uh, truth table we are having three input we will have three inputs in the truth table a b and c and we will have uh, eight different combination for that we'll have zero one two three four five six and seven the output will be high uh, when all the inputs are low uh, and now I'm going to put a main term here in zero. And all other bo boxes are empty or we can put zero for max terms. And now we are going to simplify it uh, to make, we are having this only A. And the corresponding value for A is zero and B and C are zero. Now uh, solving this K map, A is zero, which is represented by A complement and b is also zero which is b complement c is zero which is c complement and uh, we are going to uh, get our simplified expression which is a complement b complement uh, sorry which is b complement and c complement in the next step uh, we are going to implement uh, this expression we are having a we are having a here. I'm using different colors for the inputs B and C. These are the three uh, inputs. Now we want A complement, B complement, and C complement. So I'm using inverters here, A complement, B complement, and C complement. We will multiply A complement with B and C. For that, we will use a AND gate. Uh, for this, I'm using a different color here as well. A complement, this is B complement, and this is C complement. We will use a simple AND gate. And the resultant is A complement, B complement, and C complement. As you can see, it, uh, this is a combination of circuits which only depends upon the current inputs. Uh, previous inputs are not used, or we can say that we don't uh, have any memory element involved here. Hopefully, this is informative for you. If you are having any queries regarding uh, this video, do comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.